So I was uh, talking to Jeff Jones, and he recently put a sniper on his 200. Now he's got a, I think, an Argentinian head. And uh, he was uh, talking about how the idle is no good on it. Uh, compared to his Phytech. Now, for those of you that don't know, the Phytech units actually have a patented annular discharge uh, with the injectors on it, and I think it works far better. It's what I have on the truck. Um, and the Sniper does not, because it's patented. They can't use that annular discharge. It kind of has something similar, but it doesn't work as well. So, uh, at any rate, we were talking about injector sizes, and I told him I had tried smaller injectors on here. And one of the things that um, one of the things that uh, we talked about trying was, well, maybe you know, run it at forty three psi instead. So uh, I had run the smaller injectors on here. One of them dropped, uh, meaning it quit working for whatever reason. And uh, I wanted to try sixties instead of eighties. They come with one hundreds. Um, couldn't find 60s that were in the short style. So uh, we can reduce the fuel pressure by about 70% by going down to three bar from four. So uh, maybe we'll try that this morning. It's pretty easy to do with the external regulator. We can just take this external regulator and we'll just dial it down to 43 PSI, which is three bar. And then uh, all I have to do is take the tune, the current tune that's in it, and uh, set it for 43 PSI system pressure and it rescales everything based on that. So what that does is it'll increase the injector duty cycle. So um, longer injector duty cycle might give us a better spray pattern uh, out of the injectors. So it's just something to try. Um, I really am pretty happy with the way it's running. I've been driving it a lot. And um, for now, you know, until we put the new motor in it with the multi-port, um, it's very acceptable the way that it idles. Um, and certainly it has always run fine. It's just the idle that's always been kind of wonky so uh, this is just an experiment okay so now what I did was I went ahead and pulled the tune out of it uh, that's in it just current um, it is still learning a little bit now that I've tweaked everything there's uh, it's pulling some percentages out of the out of the uh, table which is fine anyways um, all we're gonna do now is with the current tune I'm just gonna go in here uh, and it's it says um, actual system pressure. I don't know if this is showing up or not, but um, there it is. So actual system pressure, 60 PSI. So what happens is when I change that, we're just going to go here and we're going to make this 43. See the fuel system flow, total flow went down to 169.3. So uh, you can leave everything set the way that it is. It's still got 100 pound per hour injectors in it. They're still rated at 60 PSI. Um, so they're 100 at 60 but we're going to change it to 43 and that just should just scale everything correctly in the system so uh, let's give it a shot okay so as you can see if I cannot shake the camera uh, I've got the fuel pump just uh, forced on right now and uh, you can see we're at 43 psi so uh, fuel pressure set just download the tune and let's see what happens Okay, so we're doing the warm-up now. Uh, downloaded the tune and fired it up. Let's see what happens. It's interesting. I set the fuel pressure in the system to 43, but it's still showing a closed-loop compensation of 40%. So that's kind of interesting. So here's something interesting. It's actually pulling fuel out. It's, it's taken like 5%, 6% of the fuel out so far at idle with lower pressure. So that's really weird. You would think that it would you would think that it would need to add fuel with lower pressure, although I or stay the same approximately, although it's uh kind of hovering. Now that could be because it's out of gear. So normally at this vacuum and that RPM in gear, it's going to need more fuel. That's probably why it's taking it out. So maybe the fuel um, Maybe the fuel scaling did work when I set it to 43 PSI. So that, that's all good, interesting stuff. Um, we're gonna let it keep warming up here. It's, it's in learning, but it's not up to temp yet. We gotta get the thermostat open and stuff. Okay, so the fuel system certainly is a hell of a lot quieter, especially at idle. You don't hear the pulsing in the fuel system anymore. Um, Performance-wise, seems identical. Seems like no performance difference. Um, the idle quality is potentially better, so this might be a good possibility. This may be 
this may be a good uh, modification to make. Um, we're gonna drive it a little bit. You know, this thing tends to idle better as it warms up. So, you know, we'll give it a shot. Now, I'd say the idle quality is about identical. It's just uh, no, no change, really. Um, Performance-wise, no change. System configuration didn't change anything. It's, uh, you know, at times it feels like it idles better, but, you know, what it was doing that with the fuel pressure at 60 PSI. So, interesting experiment, but uh, no different result. You know, it's, uh, it's exactly as it was. Uh, so, you know, net zero. Santa Monica. There's the ocean straight ahead.